Now, right on the clock, we go back to Johto. So, with Johto, we got, and sadly, I'm truly biased, but <laughs> it was like, yeah, I'm truly, truly biased. But at least the good news is that I'm not like that horribly biased. Sadly, as you can hear, for most likely this and in Kento, the grass type Pokemon totally sucks balls. <laughs> yeah, we got freaking Meganium, aka Chikorita. Never chose Chikorita. I did try Chikorita once in a trial period where I actually decided to say, okay, well, I usually have Bell Sprout with me. But Bell Sprout usually eventually dies out, and then I'm like, oh crap, I don't have a grass starter, starter anymore because Bell Sprout cannot actually keep up. It's like either evolve them or you're screwed. And I'm like, I don't want to evolve them because his evolve forms are ugly as hell. <laughs> so I gave a Chikorita a try, and Chikorita actually was a good grass type. So that's good. I mean, yeah, good everything. But as for a starter personally, I wouldn't actually choose her because that's just how it goes. Not to mention off the back. That's the sucky part off the freaking damn back. The first one you actually go against is Faulkner and Faulkner has bird type Pokemon. So yes, I know you can easily go up there and be like, okay, I went up to this route. I can't ever climb up to until later dance around dee, 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 and find freaking <laughs> geo dude. And there you go. You're saved. I know. I know. But still, if you have to do that and just have to make the cop out, because chances are you want Geo Dude just to help you out, but you're not going to have Geo Dude in your party forever, right? So the experience points that Geo Dude gets is wasted on him. That's kind of sucky. That's kind of really sucky. So, anyways, yeah, Chikorita never would choose. But. As for its look, I'm fine with its look. I mean, yeah, the original Chikorita look from the old games and a few later on kind of looks off-putting, but Chikorita's still cool. I'm still okay with Chikorita. Most likely because Chikorita was awesome with Ash. <laughs> yep. What a beauty. Just the fact of how buddy-buddy she was with Ash. That was cute. That was really cute. Next up is, of course, Cyndaquil, my personal favorite. I have two personal favorites, and Chigari I mean, Cyndaquil is one of them. Cyndaquil, he sadly is only a fire type. That's all, just a fire type. He's just a normal fire type. You have no way to actually strategize with him. But wow, how they actually improved on him later on. It's like, yes, for Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, they gave him something called Lava Plume. Or Lava. Yeah, Lava Plume. And Lava Plume is awesome. Oh, they freaking gave him an awesome new move. That was beautiful. But, man, he can take a punch. It's like, yeah, Typhlosion can take a punch. Typhlosion is freaking damn awesome. Even if you just have a few fire type moves and everything else, he is truly an awesome starter to choose. Tinequil is very, very awesome to use. Next up, and last but not least, is Totodile. Totodile was actually my first starter I chose when I actually actually rented a Blockbuster. I'm not sure. Could have been Crystal, could have been Pokemon Silver. I'm not sure which one I chose, but I had Totodile. And Totodile was very, very cool. And, of course, Totodile actually became very, very cool to me because, well, <laughs> in Pokemon Crystal, when I had my first run of it, Total Dial was actually by the end of the game, level 73. Yes. Holy shit, right? <laughs> I just didn't give a crap. I used Total Dial for almost everything. Actually, for Alligator, but still, I used him for almost everything, and it was very awesome. It's like, yeah, he's he is a freaking damn strong man. He could take a punch and punch you right back. He was awesome. And then in Heart Gold Soul Silver, they actually decided to give him freaking Ice Fang. That was awesome. I do have to admit, though, the set I had, because I kind of can remember what attacks I had on him. I think I had Rage and Surf and two other attacks. That's the only messed up part is the fact of 
you gave Total Dow some good stuff. You made him very cool, but sometimes I think if you're stacking up good attacks, they're kind of lacking on them. It's like, yeah, you could have done better with this guy. It's like, yeah, screw Chikorita and her set. Work on Total Dow and give him a good freaking move set that is like, as soon as you get to the very end, you're like, indeed. <laughs> but there you go. That's all. Johto is very, very cool. I just didn't care for Chikorita. It's, maybe it was because it was too soon, you know? Having another grass type that's a four-legged, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. You needed to mix it up. That's why Trico was a good fit when it came to Hoenn. It's like, yeah, he's two-legged now. And that was a good enough thing to actually distance yourself from four-legged grass types, which four-legged grass types kind of suck. Except for Turkwig. Turkwig rules. But before anything, it's like, yeah, before before Hoenn even started, just remember, the grass types kind of, kind of sucked. I'm sorry, but they kind of freaking sucked. And as for those out there who wants to start a fight and say, no, they didn't. Oh, the ones you chose suck. Go ahead and comment down below and let's have the battle begin. But of course, just remember, if you try to use your Chikorita, I'll Cinequil, and I'll Total Dial with Ice Fang. Will you really survive? Will you really actually survive this? That's a good question to ask yourself.